Hey everyone, welcome to this week's Racers 360 video. I'm really excited about this one. This week we'll be talking about how we actually save the car once oversteer has been induced. Now, we've had previous discussions and videos about how oversteer starts, whether it's through weight transfer, a little bit of setup discussions, and uh, wheel inputs. And if you haven't seen those videos, I highly recommend you taking a look. They'll be in the description below. But we haven't talked about how we actually save the car and lose as little time as possible. So we'll be digging into that one pretty deep this week. And at the end of the video, we'll even go into the two phases of oversteer that is where most of the bigger mistakes start to happen. So make sure you stick around to the end. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, I'd absolutely love if you would consider subscribing so you can be a part and be up to date on our weekly videos uh, and be part of the community. If you've got questions throughout the video, please go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll be going through the comment section every day and be there to answer any questions. At Racers360, we want to make sure that you're driving fast and safe on track. And if we can help you do that in any way, that's our goal. So without further ado, Let's dig into our weekly video. So we've switched here to an onboard camera, myself driving at Watkins Glen in the IMSA series. Now, what I wanna show you here is a big moment I had coming out of the boot. And we wanna go through this corner and pick it apart and find why I was able to make a pretty big save without losing much time. And then talk about the points of the oversteer that really can cause a lot of trouble to drivers and really where you do get in trouble. So let's go ahead and start playing here so you can see I'm coming up the boot we're gonna watch it full speed first coming in coming in big 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 moment right here save and on our way so one of the critical things here in slow motion you can see I'm already knowing I'm gonna have a moment way before I get there you're gonna see I'm gonna make little small changes in the steering wheel that's me oh at the edge at the edge I think I'm about to lose I'm trying to save it and then I'm big oversteer one of the best ways to prevent big moments is to realize earlier in the corner that you've got oversteer the earlier you can realize that the rear starting to slide you'll be able to make smaller movements and be able to stop it but if you're in too deep you can't quite do that so once again let's go even slower so you can see here I'm making those small little movements little movements there's the big slide this is where the really starts to have the compounding effects of oversteer I've made my correction I'm back I'm countering that second correction and this is in the pause section if you make your second correction too much you can really get the weight transfer too fast and then snap back again so keeping your hands at the nine and three o'clock is really critical and you can see I've corrected again too far I've had my second correction but this is where smoother inputs become critical because you're really starting to play with the spring unloading and launching the car in one way or the other so this is where you can really get in trouble and smooth inputs after that slide after the pause becomes so critical for you as a driver. So let's see just a little bonus on what mistakes can happen when you weight transfer too fast. So what happened there? We drove in way too deep and we had a complete lift of the throttle way too fast right here. And he's going to lift and all the weight's going to shift to the front way too fast. The car is going to overload the rear. The rear is going to lift and it's going to completely lose grip. So how do we prevent that? That goes back into the smooth transitions of weight series. Again, that's going to be in the footer below. We'll have links to that. So one more time, fast through here with the big save. Pause, unload, and that's how you drive the car. So what we saw in the slow-mo is we see that once we make a correction, the load, once it reaches its peak point, there's a pause. Now, if we are too fast to correct and we go the other way before the car has finished the pause motion, that's when we start to really get the unload of the spring, the weight transferring too fast to the other side, and that's where we get the snapback oversteer that we often see. So once we've had the slide start, Remember, smooth hands, breathe, let the car pause, and then as the car starts to come back your way, that's where it's so critical to be smooth with your hands and not to counter back too much and force the weight transfer to go too far to the other side. So it's an oversteer, you, you counter into it, which is going to come like second nature to almost everyone in a car. It's just second, second nature to counter into the steer. You're going to let it pause. 
Once the pause is stopped, your card's gonna come back your way, and that's where the smooth next corrections, and you're kind of just letting the car wait, figure itself back out, and then you'll be able to carry on with the corner. That's how you can make a correction like a pro on track and not let that oversteer turn into something far worse than it has to be. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you stuck around and also got the bonus on how weight transfer too, fa too fast to the front can really end your day too quickly. Thanks for joining us at Racer360. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you around next time.